в разные стороны. Hello everybody, it's a me, and friendly porcupine, and today we are reviewing the X-Block SDU Hammer, or the SWAT Hammer, or the Police Hammer. It doesn't really have an official name, so call it whatever you want. It contains 618 pieces, and it retails for roughly about 25 to 30 dollars. I mean, I've also seen some ridiculous prices for like 40 dollars, which is almost the same price as the original. And I've also seen them go down as low as 20, is 17, 16 dollars, so yeah, it just depends on which seller you get this set from. That's why it's kind of hard to determine a retail price. And if you're wondering where to buy this set, the link will be in the description below. Now enough of that, let the review begin. Let us begin this review with the main attraction, which is the Hammer Vehicle. I'll show it to you all around. It's an excellent build so far for what Knockoffs have done. I say Knockoffs have done an excellent job knocking off the build. However, they have implemented some interesting things. Here, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of the original with the Knockoff. Now, of course, I uh, changed some things around over here. Put some things where they don't belong, but essentially the original build is still there. If you can compare it side-by-side, -side, yeah. The original Mega Construct just completely... Whoops, this one's ass. The bumper is better. The back part over here, I mean, I guess it's subjective. I like this part too, it's a very nice smooth area. But the back that is done like this is also very nice. Plus, the back comes with a little door which you can store things in here. As well as this part, which you can also store things in there. So, it's like, both of these models are both good. However, the same cannot be said for when you look underneath. So you can see underneath right here, of both builds. Yeah. Look at what Mega Constructs has done. See? Mega Constructs was able to incorporate this, making the build over here way much more stronger. What did Knockoffs do instead? Well, Knockoffs did this. You see, that's exactly what they did. It's just this. That's it. That's holding the whole entire thing. Now, you might say, hmm, maybe that's better. Maybe it just makes the wheels much more easier to come apart. And then you compare it with what Mega Constructs has done. I mean, yeah, sure, you could do it, but... You usually don't want the wheels to come off like this, you just want the wheels to come off like this. I mean, of course, <laughs> Mega Constructs completely knocks it out of the department, I mean, look at that. This is official Mega Constructs, like, damn, knockoffs do not stand a chance in comparison. These tires are done like so ho, ho, much more better. But these tires do work, I mean, for what you get, they do work, but my goodness, like, Mega Constructs, like, you legit knock them out, man. Sad. It's really sad that knockoffs have to be the ones that are making the builds. Why can't it just be you, Mega Constructs? Why can't you go back to making these super awesome Call of Duty builds? Why does it have to be knockoffs? Like, legit, knockoffs are the only ones in the game right now that are actually building, like, sets. Even if they are knocking off of the original model, they at least change some things around and do something customly, right? They move some things around. Whoopsie. <laughs> Of course, when you compare it with this set, the brick quality is so much more better compared to the official one. Like, man, if you can get the official one, get it. But however, did they take the same idea? Did Mega Constructs take the same idea and make a SWAT one, huh? Did Mega Constructs do that with police and stuff? No! Why not? See, Knuckles are like, hey, Mega Constructs, you didn't make a SWAT one, we will do it. And there you go, they actually made it. So, yeah, to me, I personally like both of these models. But the Mega Constructs one just completely whoops this one's ass. It's just such a shame. Like, legit, if Mega Constructs just got in the game and started building these super awesome vehicles, structures, helicopters, cameras, and other stuff, it's like, they would legit annihilate the knockoffs. But sadly, what is Mega Constructs interested in doing nowadays? Well, they're interested in just giving us figure packs and etc. Still, that is awesome. I love getting Mega Constructs Call of Duty figures. But I miss having this! Like, legit, I think we already might have had enough figures. We need more of this. We desperately need more vehicles, more terrains, more structures, and etc. Stuff like that. We need more good builds. Because knockoffs, it's very sad when knockoffs have to remind me how much it felt. It felt so good building these sets. I used to learn techniques. Yeah, I actually learned some techniques from the knockoff Homer. Mega Constructs taught me so many interesting techniques of how to build, but it's just such a shame, like legit. Knockoff, they brought back the vibe of me 
buying a set, literally jumping in the air because I'm so excited to build the set, actually building it and playing around with it. Sadly, Mega Constructs kind of lost their vibes and they stopped doing vehicle builds. So it's like, damn, like, this is a low. I hope Mega Constructs, if you're watching this video, please bring back vehicles. Cause like, you need to whoop these mocos out of the ballpark. Cause I know you absolutely can. You absolutely can, Mega Constructs. So, what are you doing here not releasing other sets? Maybe it's because Mattel tells you, no, 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 Mega Constructs, you cannot release that many cool sets. Or maybe it's something else. I'm not sure, I wish Mega Constructs would kind of plant us no, cause man, like, legit, they need to get back into what they're doing. And there we go, there you have it, a little unfriendly porcupine rant of what Mega Constructs seriously needs to do. But also, just talking unstructurally, right? We compare it over here, we can see this part right here, how the hood opens up. And yeah, the Mega Constructs one actually has these nice rope pieces over here, which they work perfectly fine, however, it also snaps back like crazy because of the ropes. <laughs> so, yeah, you still get access to all of that compartment over there, and with the knockoffs, you just pull it back. So, I mean, there's an advantage and there's a disadvantage. Yeah. As for these, you can see Mega Constructs, what they've done, they just added that peg over there, well, they, they've just added that. Both of these systems work. Though I think the Mega Constructs one looks better. As for the doors, I think the knockoffs have pulled off the door structure pretty well. Not sure why they used the Lego version of this when they could have used this instead, but they did and it still works pretty fine. Structurally though, for both of them, both Mega Constructs and knockoffs um, don't easily fall apart. Mega Constructs in the hand, way much more better brick quality, but still, for knockoff standards, or just bri general brick standard, it's not bad, except this piece. This piece just keeps falling off. Some of these pieces right here, these type of pieces that are used, these pieces right here, unfortunately, they're just a little bit structurally weak, which is why this thing keeps falling apart. Also, if we turn it on to the back, you can see, oh no, where'd the other light go? The red light. Well, the red light over here is sadly a little bit too loose. See this? Here's, here's how the red light is going back. See that? It shakes a little bit over there, here and there, and then easily falls off. I mean, if you're playing with it, and if you're driving the vehicle, and uh, let's say you're a little bit of a rough player, right? It is actually pretty stable. I can drop it like this, and it's still, uh oh, well, of course, you already know the standard, this thing always keeps falling apart. But yeah, structurally though, this one's actually pretty stable. Now let's try that with the Mega Constructs. Mega Constructs does its job. Uh oh, oh, yeah, 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 I forgot, of course. That's not fair because all of the components over here open up, but that's not fair. Let's actually try it like this, okay. No, Mega Constructs still keeps its shape. So yeah, both of them are pretty decent, but I can tell that Mega Constructs is better per quality. Alright, enough of that, let's actually talk about what they have done over here. Now as for the prints, I say the knockoffs have done a pretty, pretty decent job with the prints. I have no idea what that actually says, neither do I have any idea what this says, or what that says over there. Or what that says over there. So if you know what it says, post in the comment section down below. Unfortunately, this wheel piece just legit keeps coming off, which is a bummer. However, this is still so much of an improvement compared to the previous SDU truck build. So if you're wondering how bad the brick quality was on that one, check out that video. But for this build right here, knockoffs have done such a much better job. They're quickly improving. Like, with their brick quality, they are improving. This time, there are only a few pieces that suck. Whereas the other one, there were so many pieces that suck. Eventually, I think they will get closer to the Mega Constructs quality, but it will take some time. You can see they pulled off the speckle color pretty well over here. I just showed you one little more closer look of what the interior looks like, and that's what it looks like. They used that piece, the engine part was done pretty well. Of course, very nice, they also incorporated that smoothness part, so you can just click it. However, some of these bricks right here, you can see there's a little bit color discoloration. Everything's a nice, that super nice uh, black speckle, black hot color. But then you throw in some pieces that are not quite that color like, specifically for right here. That are a little bit brighter. It kind of kills it just a little bit, but I mean, yeah, especially with this part right here, you can notice it for those pieces. I wish there was a bit more consistency with some of the bricks, maybe some of this right there, but I mean, it is what it is. Moving on to the top, you can see right here for the lights, they added the red one and the blue one to signify police. 
you can see that's kind of how the interior looks like the glass quality is not bad you can actually see through it however on these ones it also kind of looks a little bit more fogged up you can see it right there it's a little bit more foggy but you can still see through it but yeah this front one is good glass quality the side doors act they could use a little bit of an improvement Comparing to Mega Construct, it's all good all the way around. You can just see how much more clearer it is in there. As for the top part over here, you can see they just added on some sirens, cause why not? Or maybe what they can do is uh, they put in like, let's say, a slot figure, right? I'm just gonna quickly put them in there. You don't even have to attach them to the thing if you don't want to. Okay, yeah. Clearly this one does not have a weapon on the top or something to shoot the enemies down. Maybe that's not what it's intended for. Maybe it's intended for let's say um some crazy civilians doing crazy stuff hello civilians you know what the sign is you need to calm down go back home nobody wants you here or something like that right <laughs> no cops are better no cops are better and then mega constructs like the civilians are like ah, ah get out of here we don't want you <laughs> yeah but that's essentially what those sirens are for for me, I personally wish maybe they would swap this part out, maybe incorporate some kind of arms or other stuff, you know, have a little bit more customization. Because here, you just have this structure, I mean, yeah. Also, what if this SWAT vehicle is getting attacked at, right? That's literally going to be your shield up there. <laughs> here, let me turn the shield. You know, it just kind of feels a bit funny. But yeah, hey, at least what they've done here, what the Knuckles have done, look at this. Look at that super nice shine color, like these pieces are, voila, very excellent. I give these pieces a 10 out of 10, the color choice, the care package piece, like man, they are so nice. Anyways, taking this off, we can kind of see a little bit of how that comes apart. And of course, this piece, just like the original, it all comes apart. But here's one little minor thing that they've done. So with the knockoffs, you can see they have one stud going up here. And as you compare it with the official one, you can see right here, it's double studded you know why that is specifically done here for it's specifically done for this so let's say i want to place this thing back up here right okay it places on but sometimes what happens is you have uh, this type of situation eh, eh, why won't it close down all the way you see that it's not closing down all the way well that's simply because of this one little piece right here so specifically for this set what you are going to have to do is you're going to have to slide it in like this first no you slide it in like this and then press because oftentimes if you do it this way you have this thing that keeps doesn't close it mega constructs on the other hand does not have that problem whatsoever so you see this since they have those two studs available it doesn't matter how you place it you just place it down and it closes with no problems whatsoever that's why it's very important to make sure when knockers are knocking off they uh, pay attention to each component of the design However, what knockoffs have done here, they've done a pretty good job. I do, however, wish that this part right here, the little seat part, you can see we can compare it over here, point, point. You can see over here, that specific part is actually designed for a figure to stand on there. So they can actually poke their head up. Um, let's compare it real quick. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> yeah. Boom, boom, boom. This is what it's designed for. So the figure can pop out of here, which works very well. The other design knockoffs just use it. Just use this, I mean. They both work, it's a nice piece, but this is of course an older model of the Mega Constructs, like with the yellow hum. Now, if we take these parts both off, you can see right here, that's how they've done it. That's how the Mega Constructs have done it. And yeah, Mega Constructs, look at that, they actually put an excellent prints in there. What have the knockoffs done? Well, the knockoffs didn't provide much prints, I mean, these are nice colors, they could have provided some excellent console pieces, like how they have over there and over there, well, those are not console pieces, but prints, yeah, they could have provided some stuff like that. And yeah, for this piece right over here, you can just see they just used a lot of studs. Over here, Mega Constructs actually used those nice bricks. Over here, at least they knocked off the wheel pretty well. Of course, the wheel um, is a little bit more stiff, but it turns pretty nicely. And while the Mega Blocks one, it turns super nicely. Much more nicely. And of course, they knocked off that piece over there, knocked off that over there. Yeah, there's like a lot of side-by-side -side differences. And of course, we switch it around, we can sweep the back a little bit, that's how the knuckles have done that compartment over there, and that's how Mega Constructs has done this compartment over here. Both of these chairs right here work very nice. Both of them also have that piece right there, you see? That piece that also stops it from going further. Knuckles also implemented that right there. As for the doors right here, 
Both Mega Constructs and the Knockouts have done an excellent job with the doors. Poink, 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 poink. So yeah, they close up. How about Mega Constructs? They do an excellent job over here. Excellent job. To me personally, maybe it's a little bit biased or something, but Mega Constructs has done a better job. As for the window shield pieces, yeah, Mega Constructs actually painted it. Well, knockoffs, no, they have not, but that's always something that you can paint, especially if you have a silver marker sharpie. Now, looking at the back compartment, which is the part that knockoffs have actually modified on their own, so you can actually see how good the knockoff builders are. Of course, Mega Constructs is a better. Uh oh, <laughs> well, let's move that aside. Yeah, of course, Mega Constructs is a better job. You can see over here, this is what they've done. They've made this door open up and it opens up very nicely. However, it doesn't fully go in. You can see right here, as I close it, it works. It does the job, but it doesn't, like, if you want to press it in fully, you're gonna have to lift that whole thing up. Which is clearly not what you wanna do. So as you close it, you wanna close it just like that. As for the piece right here, you wanna know how they designed the little glass piece so you can see who's in there? It's just a brick. Yeah, <laughs> it's that thing. That's how the interior looks like in there. The interior looks pretty well. I really like these interesting pieces they use up there. Those pieces are awesome. If we take this top part right over here, you can see, yeah, that's how the interior looks like. Well designed, that's how the interior looks like over here. Much more well designed. Specifically, here's where the Mega Construct shines. Here's what Mega Constructs can actually do. Well, uh, unfortunately, I think the care package is just a little bit too wide. And official little of these care packages work perfectly. How about for the knockoffs? Have the knockoffs implemented something like that? No, but I guess they implemented like some chairs that you can have. So I guess someone can hide here in the back. I mean, you have that, but the figures, I mean, you kind of have to make them lay a little bit if you want to fit them in there. Simply because there just isn't enough headroom for them to fully sit up, right? Oh, let's place it back over here like this. Boom. You can see, you can house a figure in there if you want to. You can also house another figure in there as well. But two is the limit and one is for comfortable room. Two is if you want it to be pretty tight in there. But yeah, two is, I would say, I wouldn't go further than two because it just wouldn't work. Also, another thing. Look at this interesting blue color they did. Why is it that they use this more lighter blue color over here? Oh, one thing. The way the light reflects off of that red piece. Like, man, Nokos have done such, such a good job with that piece. Like, legit, that actually looks like a light. The blue one on here, I mean, it works. Though, I don't know why they decided to um, go with the more lighter blue color than keeping it consistent over here. It just looks a little bit weird. But yeah, it is what it is, this part easily takes apart, and you also have some room in here, let's get these figures out. You also have some room in here to attach accessories, the glass pieces over here, they work, so if you're wondering who's actually in there, you can see just a little bit, and you can see just a little bit out. It's also perfect for, let's say, there is a bad criminal, like bad and very naughty Spider-Man. He might have done some very horrible things. Mr. Criminal, you put him in there. You take this, boom, boom, you attach, and now the criminal is being transported. Boom, 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 and that's how it works. And last but not least, let's talk about this part right here, which is clearly the bumper eye. It's, it has some problems on here. This is how the bumper is done. To me, I would just replace the bumper with the official Mega Constructs. All right, so when comparing bumpers, you can see Mega Constructs clearly has the upper game over here. This knockoff bumper is just... Eh, I mean, it, it works, I guess, but knockoff, the, the Mega Blocks just completely take it out of the ball game. Now, let's just swap it out, right? Boom! You can see, damn, man, like, shit, damn, they look good. Like, this is what knockoffs needed to knock off, instead of giving us this bull crap. Imagine if Mega Constructs gave us that bull crap. I mean, the bumper, it works, but man, this is so much better. That's why Mega Constructs has done a better job, like, legit. Mega Constructs, get back into the game and knock, and show these knockouts how it's done. Oh yeah, and I completely forgot the last compartment to actually show you. How the figure actually sits in there. So, when you attach the figure, 
you scooch them over there, you make sure that part of the back aligns in there, boink, you get it in there and boom, your figure is attached. Boom, make them sit comfortably, fix up some of the bricks that kind of get a little bit loose, put this hand on here, and now, just get hand on there, come on, come on, hand, boink, boink, okay, no, 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 okay, there we go, boom, we got it on there, boom, now he's actually driving. Then you close the door, and there you go. Figure is driving and he's ready to play Twisted Metal. How can I refuse? Yeah, this bumper is completely overpowered. But too bad, Nokos have to have this one. I'm gonna take you out, little fella. And as for this compartment over here, yeah, for some reason on this part it's kind of a bit difficult to get the figures in there. So what you have to do, you have to take this part off, slide the feet through there, attach the leggy and there you go. So yeah, <laughs> that's how the figures have to uh, place their hand, their, fig their feet outward. So they just place their feet outwards like that and yeah. However, the figure can sit comfortably here, it's just... Yeah, again, once again, Mega Construx has done a better job. Now, enough of that, let's talk about the figures. And here is figure number one. Yeah, essentially, it's basically the same SDU figure that we've gotten previously, just with no paint application. What has happened? Why did the X-Block company decide to be cheap and lazy and not paint the paint applications? Like how they advertised, advertised. Yeah, we should have got those paint applications. What did we get? <laughs> no paint applications for you. I mean, there's a benefit to having no paint applications because now you can paint it very easily, but it should have been advertised that way. My problem is the false advertisement. Yeah, that's why I call, up, call your book club out on that. Anyways, as for the figure goals, of course, the SDU figure, they have a little bit of an annoying boot trick, you can see it right there. There's a little bit of discoloration because they used the speckle boot right here and just the black solid, which should have all been one color to make custom painting a lot easier. As for the hands over here, the hands articulate way much more better than the previous SDU figure, so yeah. X-Block has absolutely improved in their figure department, they're slowly getting better, their foot grip chin is a lot better, their leg straps are very nice, you can see on the back over there. Figure looks overall, unfortunately the figure does not have that nice smooth popping sound when you pop in the figures, you can see it right here. Yeah, it's not that super nice sound. And of course, with the head mold, the head mold figure is very nicely, this figure does not need any oil, and if you want to take off the vest... <laughs> Damn, we don't want Mortal Kombat in here. Fatality! <laughs> well, I guess it's a more easier to take off that than to actually take off the vest. Okay, there you go. Boom. The vest slides on, it's just the, when the chest is a bit more of like a waxy rubber. There we go. Yeah. It's not that it's tight, it's just hard to get a grip. And there you go, the vest is done very well. If you want to attach it to... Oh, I know the perfect figure. Let's try it with the traitor, Alex Mason. Okay, Alex Mason, are you ready? We're gonna try the vest on you. You might as well join the knockoff squad, huh? Okay, boom. Vest work perfectly fine on figures like this. Yay! And of course, this figure comes with this firearm. Let's move on. Oh. You get figure stands that are speckled, just like the other SDU, so yes, good job. Moving on to the next figure, is this figure. Once again, misleading advertising because they advertised that this helmet right here would actually be painted, so yeah. However, the helmet not being painted has its advantages. You get one just like this, so I guess there's a little bit of diversity here, you know, you get something like this. The head mold actually moves around very nicely. Like it's very smooth, I can tell that they've improved on the head mold quality. The rubber quality, the plastic quality is much more better. I just really don't like the false advertising. I mean, this helmet works fine if they actually advertise it that way, you know, there's a difference. Of course, the glove mold are actually glove mold, so they didn't mess up that, annoying boot trick. That's the shotgun that they get over there. And as for the juggernaut vest, well, it's a lot more, I guess, easier to take off. I mean, it just moves around, I guess, a little bit too much. So, yeah. Of course, how you take these vests off, 
gives you, you see that little peg right there? You make sure that you kind of pull it off of that. When you uh, take it off, boom, there you go. And that's how it takes off. Of course, you want to be a little bit careful when you place these things. Hey, <laughs> I was gripping this thing so hard, the boot actually came off. Oh no. Yeah, unfortunately, there's a little bit of a problem with this figure. You see right here, unfortunately, it has a little bit of a crack. It doesn't actually interfere with the, how the figure moves and plays around. I guess it's just more of an aesthetic issue, but if you stretch it too far, it could eventually become a problem, so... Yeah. Anyways, enough about the figure, let's talk about the accessories. As for the accessories, you get all of your standard classical PUBG accessories, like the AK, the computer, the machete, the frying pan to smack people with, the flare gun, all of these accessories are all done very nicely, they're just in the black color, solid black color, no speckle here. And the last, this last part is over here, the little tiny bills that the SDU figures came with, cause they literally duplicated all of the little bills that figures came with. So, for the fire barrel, you already know how these things go, they don't tell you how to build it, they just expect you to pop a piece in there and you're done. Yeah, and I'm not cheating you, right here, that's literally the instruction. They don't even tell you how to build it, but they do tell you how to build the figure. You can see right here, they do tell you how to do that. So good job, Knuckles. But yeah, as for these flaming pieces with the barrels, eh, they they learn from the other new brand new set, but with this set, you would have thought they would have fixed it, but nah, I guess uh, not yet. And then of course, you also get your care package, I'll just take you a little bit of a closer look of what's inside. The care package works pretty well, if you want to stick it on studs, let's go, try it out, boom, it sticks on studs just like that. Now, as for these type of sets, I really hope they also start including care packages like this. Like, man, I really like these care packages. They give you a lot more room and we don't get enough of them. The only way so far to get the local version of this is to get that awesome Battle Dome set or to get that super big truck. Other than that, no luck. No good luck you're not getting this care package from the knockoff. They really need to knock off this mold way much more often. At least you get these more often, but they really need to knock off this one. Also, what knockoff should absolutely do? Where is the terrain? Well, the terrain is just boom, boom, that's, <laughs> that's it. You get the vehicle, you get the figures, and you get the accessories. I wish though, to make the set feel a lot more complete, you know how Mega Bloks used to do it back in the old days? They actually used to give you a terrain, yeah. This is what Noko should do, it does not have to be anything complicated, it could just literally be two base plates like this, point, point, you attach it and you build it up a little bit. And then you just fill it with sandbags. Literally, duplicate this thing for every single structure build and boom! You check up that check mark on the terrain part. And now the set actually feels a lot more complete. Point, point, let's get our figures in here. Point, point, and of course you sprinkle all of the accessories that you actually got. Boom, boom, and there you go. Now that's a complete set. Bum, 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 bum. Not yet. Care package and barrel. In the flaming piece. There you go. You see, just that one little simple thing really, really makes this set feel like a set. Keep it up to the classical standards of the official Mega Blocks and how they used to do it. It's a really, really good job that locals need to do. Sadly, even with the new one, Mega Constructs just, I guess, moved away from the terrain, but at least they included the care package with the original set. They should also include these type of care packages as well, locals. And another thing they should also do. Imagine Knuckles actually were able to create a speckled sandbaggy. Yeah, Knuckles would now have the game. I mean, Knuckles have already included a textured sandbaggy, so they might as well go the full mile and actually um include a crap ton of sandbaggies. I mean, come on, you gotta make sandbaggy Lord proud. And yes, of course, this thing is not included, this is not included, and this is everything you get. Well, you already know what this part of the video brings us to. It brings us to the... FINAL JUDGMENT! <laughs> Alright figures, are you ready to get your asses judged? <laughs> Cause it is the time! For the aesthetics, I give this set an 8 out of 10. They done an excellent job with the speckles, I guess the only big problems are some of the brick inconsistencies with the aesthetic over here, maybe this care package could have been a nice speckled color, and the false advertisements on the helmets. For the playability, I give this set an 8 out of 10. This set still, even though it doesn't come with a terrain, doesn't come with a large care package, but it does come with a care package, so playability points already get a check mark for that. 
They said out of all of the other little buildable SDU things they have, this one has the most playability simply because you actually get a back compartment over here for prisoners or whatever care packages you want to put in there. This one doesn't really fit in there, but it will fold. Yeah. Actually, I never even showed you that part. Let me actually show you right now. <laughs> yeah, before I completely forget. This right here. You open it up, get out of here, Spider-Man. Okay, so yeah, this is how this compartment works. Unfortunately, there is no center part to actually hold it nicely, but if you lift these parts up right here, you place this over here, and you push them down super hard, it actually holds it in place relatively well. Oh, well, now it's out of place. Of course, if you play rough, and someone like me who plays very rough, it won't hold it in place, and there you go. Now that you assembled it and held it in place, look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Doesn't fall off until you place super rough. Okay, let's place you back where you belong. Okay, now where were we? Ah, yes, the playability. Here, at least you actually get four seats in the inside, so you can house four figures. Unlike the other builds of the SDU, you can only house maybe like two figures in there or something like that. At least this one actually comes with a lot of seats. So out of all of them, this one has the most playability. For the value, I give this set an 8 out of 10. I mean, the value is decent here. You do get a lot of chairs, I mean, yeah. You do get a lot of chairs, you do get a lot of care packages, you actually get a care package. These figures right here, these are the two best ones. I mean, the right gear one is the one you want the most of. They give you a good amount of accessories, so yeah, I say for the value, it's pretty good. And last but not least, for the build, I give the build a 7 out of 10. Much, much, much more better than the previous SDU build that they have done. Like, oh, that was horrible. X-Block is slowly but surely improving with their build. This model right here has been done way much more better. The bricks actually stick relatively decently here. They do a good job. Of course, Mega Constructs knocks them out in the ball game because their bricks stick even better than this. But the brick structure over here is pretty decent. Of course, there are only some things like the lights coming off a little bit. But overall, the brick is done pretty well. Unfortunately, I just really don't like how they done the bottom part of here over the, with the wheels. They could have designed that a lot better, some parts over there. Um, the back part over here was actually a relatively decent build. And overall, the building process was actually not bad. I actually had a good time building. It brought me back all of the good times when I used to build Mega Construct sets. And as for the figures, I also gave the build a little bit of more higher score than the previous one because the figures were a lot more easier to assemble this time. And last but not least, that brings us to the final score, which I give a 7.75 out of 10. It's a C+. Well, my comrades, I hope you've had an excellent time watching me completely destroy and rip this knockoff to shreds with honesty. If you enjoyed this content where I completely rip the knockoff's asses to shreds, and also Mega Constructs, Nobody is immune to my ass ripping shredding, you know? <laughs> if you like that type of content, hit subscribe. If you like this type of content, also post in comment section down below. And if you really, really like this type of content, make sure you like the video as well. And of course, if you're wondering where to get this set, the link to it will be in the description below. As for that, I hope you have an excellent day, and I'll see you in the next knockoff review or the video, whichever one comes first. Everybody! What is that strange, bizarre music that is playing? Ah, of course! It is the super epic hip squad! <laughs> oh no! But yeah, look at this thing! Hey, come on! Doesn't that tell you that it's designed for DJs? You have all of the sirens, the super cool DJ guy right here! <laughs> How you doing, Mr. Crazy? Hip man DJ guy, huh? Well, enough of you. Let's remove you out of here. Oi, oi! So Iron Man was the one driving, huh? And Spider Man doing that in the back. What are you doing over there? And an official Call of Duty figure, not just a knockoff. What are you doing with the knockoff? Hey, why are you looking at me like that? Oh, I get it. You betrayed Mega Blocks and joined the knockoff. Ay, ay, ay. But why would you do such a thing? Wait, who's in here? Oh no, they kidnapped Captain Price in Simon, really? Oh no, how could you do this, Alex Mason? How could you betray your squad? Shame on you, shame on you, you get out of here. <laughs> and don't come back. <laughs>
And here are two excellent videos that you can choose to satisfy your thirst of Mega Construct content. Firstly, check out that SDU review so you can really see how bad the brick quality was.